Good morning. It's Thursday, June the 4th, and this is The Drill. Thank you very much. I'm Ron, your host and the only true conservative in the United States today. I created this podcast to answer the question most asked by conservatives, namely, what can I do? My podcast is short, approximately 5 to 10 minutes long, because shorter podcasts are easier to download and listen to. I've been listening to conservative talk radio since 1989. I've grown up in a socialist household and learned the tricks of socialism. My podcast is made available through Spreaker and can be heard on iTunes, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. Today, what can I do, quote of the day, and more left-wing hallmarks. All that when I come back. Thank you, thank you. What can I do? Quit hero-worshipping police officers and police departments. For that matter, quit worshipping firefighters, teachers, and farmers as well. If you feel the need to worship, go to church, get on your knees, and worship Jesus Christ. Hero-worshipping first responders is the culture that created the socio-political monster that we have today. Police unions can get away with anything because the public, especially conservatives, worship them. First, quit romanticizing and hero-worshipping police officers. Second, decertify all police officer unions. Third, repeal all laws that protect law enforcement from prosecution. Fourth, fire, arrest, and prosecute officers who are breaking the law under color of authority. Next up, the quote of the day. Thank you, thank you. The quote of the day comes from Integrity and Law Enforcement Quotes on Google. Quote, the name on your patch represents who hired you. The name on your nameplate represents who raised you. Represent them both with honor and integrity. Unquote. Up next, more hallmarks of the left. Thank you. Another way to know that you're in the presence of a socialist is by recognizing the way that they communicate. They have no answers, only orders and dictates. Question everything. Question authority. Coexist. Visualize world peace. Well, if we are to obey the original dictate that demands question everything, then we should ask the following questions. Why? Says who? Where? And when? Back in a minute. Who is a true conservative? He's the person that has the courage of his convictions and is confident in what he knows. He is the person that understands that cultural conservatism is more important than political conservatism. He's not selfish, but minds his own business. He acts like an adult. He is patriotic and uses common sense. He expresses what he knows and does so with certainty. He makes judgments, refuses to speculate, speaks clearly and definitively, and is not afraid to say no. He's open-minded, asking why rather than why not. He is consistent, credible, and influential, not ashamed of his existence, unafraid to learn or correct his mistakes. He is a normal American, and he is better than the socialist. He's a better friend, father, brother, family member, and a better person, period. You have to know that. If you don't know with every fiber of your being that being a true conservative is best, then you're wasting your time. That brings me to the end of another episode of The Drill. Remember, be honest, be smart, and be beautiful. And always ask yourself, what is real? How do I know? What do I do about it? I'm Ron, and that's The Drill.